friends, this is Joseph and Lori from Cruising for Treasure, and you're watching the Porter House Hall Part 2. So, if you did not watch the first one, go ahead and watch the first one. Um, but, just a brief synopsis, I was able to um, grab stuff <laughs> from five closets in a hoarder house. And basically, um, I don't really know what is in the bags, so we're just going to kind of go through it and show you. We were in a time crunch, so I was just literally, me and two other people were literally just throwing things into bags. No idea what was in there. Um, a lot of it is new with tags, new in the package. Um, so... Join us. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what's in this, these bags. Well, I picked I picked these ones because it looked like they had cool stuff, not like electronics and stuff. But, he cheated. You know. Yeah, but I and the, then uh, I threw him for a loop and I grabbed another. That's bag. fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, but we're trying to get this stuff processed, so these right. videos are. We're not, I don't think we're gonna do one every day. But as as often as we can sit down and do this because yeah our our Hulkam bags are taken up and that's just not cool so well and it's just what yeah. you know it's money sitting in the garage so we need to get it processed so, so. um anyway the thing about this is so much of this <laughs> is it's vintage it's um basically from at least what we looked at in the other video is from the sixties seventies. Maybe early 80s. We think so, yeah. So that's about the time frame. No so this is. stuff went in their closets, and then they just kept buying more and more stuff, and everything got shoved to the back when they want new stuff. Yeah. So it's and, just... And this time I have a computer so I can quickly search for things. Yes. So you can start so with that. Piece of I'll nothing. start with this piece of nothing. Okay, so it's not even branded and it smells like mothballs. Um, but I am pretty sure anybody who lived in the 80s had a shirt like this, right? Or I, their I, mom I had a shirt, like, a shirt this. like this. Well, you didn't. But um, yeah, so this is pretty standard issue. <laughs> Late 70s, early 80s. But it smells like grandma's attic. So it goes in the donate pile. So. What we have here is we have a bag for um, to sell, a bag to donate, and a bag of trash. So um, that's what we have going on here. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, that's... Um, what is this? Okay, this is a super cool jersey. Mason Large 4244. Okay, that's... Not, I feel it, it, it shrunk. <laughs> Big yeah. time. Um, but how great is this? And it's got like the name on the back is felted. It's felt letters or velvet, actually not felt velvet cut out letters. Um, and then the tag is Woodbridge Christian church with Greek letters around it. I don't know if that's still a church. I've never heard of that church, but I also don't live in Woodbridge. So anyway, that is really cool. Um, I'll put that in the cell pile. I don't know if it actually has any value. It's just kind of cool. All right, there's a Southern Lady uh, uh, blue blouse. What's that tag from? Southern Lady, where's that sold? I don't know. It wasn't expensive. It was $12.99 back in the day. So back in the day. Was. Is this Hamrix? Maybe. Is that? Uh, well, I mean, the bag that it was in was Hamrix, but that means nothing. But um, this is actually really cool. It's like, you know, a secretary blouse. Um, does it have a stain on it? Did I see a stain? I don't know. Uh, no, it was a shadow or something. Anyway, that's actually kind of cool. It's got the bow, um, right here, the, like, the waterfall ruffle thing, the ruffled neck. So, ruffles are a good keyword. That's cool. Right, Size 12. Did you... Ruffles have ridges. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I don't Different see anything kind right of off. Ruffles. I don't see anything. Well, let's do a tag. Nothing. So, I mean, it's probably a $15 to $20 shirt. Maybe. Maybe not. Right, if you use the right keywords. Next is another blouse of some sort from Ashley Hall. Ooh, that looks a little fancier. Yeah, that's kind of That weird. tag looks a little. 
All right, so it's got a paper tag, so that's always a good she, thing. That's she definitely, definitely her vintage. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, so this is 100% polyester. It is size 10 petite. It's very like it's a satiny material. That's actually really cute. Fancy. I feel like one of the ones yesterday was this style, but a different, like a pure uh, white, not uh, ivory. Yeah. It wasn't so, yesterday. It was two days ago. Two days ago. Last video that we did. Yeah. Uh, which, if you watched, thank you. Uh, that is the quickest we. That's the most views we've had in two days on any video. Not not shorts, but on a video. Um, I think we're nearing seventy views. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, or that subscribe button, yeah, please do. Um, it would help us greatly. And also, if you like the video, that'd be great too. Uh oh, this is okay. We've got uh oh, a, the hanger is yeah, the hanger all wonky, all kinds of messed up. Here, let's just get this out of there. It's a Glenbrook blouse that. I think we had, oh, one, we of had one of those in the, the other, other video. Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this will go in the trash. So, okay, no size there. Is there another tag somewhere? <sighs> There's trash right here, by the way. No other tag. Okay, yeah, so, so I'll have to measure it. Yay, that's my favorite. It's not my favorite. Um, okay, so this is just a pink blouse. It's actually quite short, which is kind of weird. Um, sheer. All right, cool. Oh, this is a Sears shirt. That's a men's. It almost looks like a men's shirt, doesn't it? Oh, but it's Cheryl Teague, so not a men's. Well, I don't it? think she made men's clothes. Uh, made in USA, average small. <laughs> Never seen that on a tag before. It's uh, Cheryl Teague's. You know what it says? Uh, S at the end, not an E. Yeah, I, I see it. Uh, this is poly rayon blend so that's interesting like a boxy i mean it almost feels like a linen but it's not linen um new tags anyway so that's kind of interesting okay apparently there were swimsuits too uh yes yeah, she was a model i will allow you <laughs> to continue looking at that all right cool well Here that we one right there Looks very similar, uh, and it sold for $4. Four bucks. Yeah, but this is new at tag, so it might do a little bit better. Silver threads. Oh, my. Now, that is, that's not a $4 shirt. That is sheer as anything. Uh, silver threads made in USA, 100% polyester. Oh, but you can't tell because if you turn that around, they'd probably yeah. be able to oh, see you but, through it. Oh, man, it's damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a bummer. That's kind of sad. Yeah, it's got like the, what is this called? LeMay? Something like that. But it's like the, the gold was rubbed off. What was the brand? There. Silver threads. Yeah, this is, that's sad. I don't even, I don't even want to donate that. I don't think that's really wearable. So trash. Trash, sadly. I don't even see any of that. Oh, there's. <laughs> yuckiness up in here. All right, this uh -oh. is getting interesting. What oh. we got? Ollie, oh my. Ollie North, All-American. Oh, Ollie for president. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Wow. Okay, this is from my childhood, actually. My parents were big into the hearing, watching the Congress hearings on this, so that's kind of cool. Hit the like button if you know who this is. Uh. So, oh. Is that a fifty dollar shirt? Well, this is the only one, and it definitely looks like that. Yeah, that's cool. So that might be a fifty dollar. So that's a shirt. fifty dollar shirt. Sweet. That's pretty I'll cool. take it. It's got the paper tag, right here. Always a good sign, and single stitch. That's definitely so, the same shirt. Uh, yep. It was 50, listed for 50 accepted best offers. So, um, and I mean the graphic, you can see the graphic. It's in really pretty, pretty good condition. So, cool. $50. We like it. Also, um, I did not pay anything for this, for any of these bags. So, all of this is basically free money. So. It's not free. We still got to do the work. Well, Pendleton Wool Shirt. Free inventory. How about that? 
This is actually super cool. Oh no, I see I'm off hole. What? Which is not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, you just have to disclose it, as long as it's not riddled with moth holes. So I'll have to investigate it, but there is one pinhole there at the collar. Just looking at it quickly, I don't see any others. But this is Pendleton and it's a black watch plaid button shirt, which is actually really, really great. I, I don't know. Um, oh wow, yeah, $40, $50. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. So hopefully there aren't any more moth holes. Uh, but that's about a $50 shirt. So cool. What is that? Made in Kent. It's a, it says uh, frog prints. Lipstick queen frog prints. I don't know. What? Look that up. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that in my life. I don't know. What? Lipstick queen frog prints. Made in Canada. Oh, it's in a fancy little box. Oh, it's cold from being in the garage. What? Oh, nah. -uh. But. What's the. Why is it so weird feeling? It's know. green. Is it really? Why is it green? Guys, this might sell for $50. Why though? Uh, so there's one. Oh, that's like the whole. So it's lip and cheek. Ugh. So that by itself is fifty-two. Yeah, fifty bucks. <sighs> that is insane. I was about to put that what? in the trash. In the world. It's Fifty-seven free shipping. Guys, $50. look everything that's up. Crazy. I have said that before in my shorts, and I'm gonna say it again. Look everything up. Don't just toss because you never know okay so this is what it looks like lipstick queen and then um frog prints and it's green and it's discontinued i don't even have any idea what the story is with that if um, you know comment um, below because wait, i'm very confused huh this is uh seven on your side wjla washington t-shirt oh wow Lewis telethon it's a cool shirt. I don't know if that would be worth anything, but it is a cool shirt. And a great summer with the Jerry Lewis Telethon Labor Day oh, weekend. Jer is that Jerry Lewis? Jerry L Lewis? Not Jenny Lewis? Jerry. Jerry Lewis Telethon. Labor Day weekend, 1989, seven on your side. That's cool. Oh, it is a Screen Stars tag, which is pretty good. Nothing? That's cool. I have no idea what that would be. I I just don't get a lot of vintage t-shirts, so I'm not um, really sure. Ugh. Well, there's one they sold for $4.99. All right, well, it's definitely worth looking into. Yeah, I, I would probably list it for like 20 bucks at least. Uh, here's another. So, uh, yeah, same oh, thing. Oh, is it the same year? 1989. 1989? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's in decent uh -oh. condition, too. <laughs> so, uh-oh. What are we looking at? Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, it's, it's pilled a little bit. Look. That's all right. Uh, that, vintage Chevy shirt. That, oh, look at the back. <laughs> yeah. <not really. laughs> That's pretty awesome. That is awesome, and then look at the back. All right, I feel like there were some trademarks that were uh, <laughs> oh. uh, disrespected there. So that's also a Screen Stars tag. I think paper tag. So I that's think her pretty cool. Worked at a Chevy dealer. Oh, maybe wow. Clawans Chevrolet. Where's that? Oh. I wonder. Made in USA. Oh, that's interesting. That okay, so it's a polo it shirt. Uh, right. K-L-A-W-A-N-S. Interesting. Well, I yeah, mean... Stafford, Virginia. Oh, nice. There you go. It's not in great shape. I don't know if that has any value. It might. Right. It might, just as like a vintage dealer shirt, uniform or whatever. Um, I 
I don't know if I can list this since there's no, like, like it's not an authorized product, I don't think. There's no, like, nothing indicating this was an authorized product. Oh, no. This so, is really I don't know if I can sell that or not. Uh, I'll look it up, but. This is a Corvette Club. It's, oh, my word. It's not in the best shape on the no, inside. No, but. Oh. So this is a Corvette Club. Uh, look at this. Jacket. Patch. Oh, patch might be worth it. Oh my goodness. And then it's got the American flag on the side. And then it's got his name on there. It is filthy dirty. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of dust on it, but like. Oh, and it's ripped here. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. But I wonder if the. Let me see the patch. Yeah, that patch might be worth something. I don't know how I would. Oh, I could just rip out the stitches yep. there. That's really cool. Oh, that's like a, that's like the jacket almost. Yeah, that's like a club jacket. <sighs> All right, I'll, I'll yeah, put we'll it put in the cell that. pile, I that, but I don't think I'm going to sell the jacket, just the patch. I think the patch might be worth some money. Here's yeah. another uh, Pendleton. Oh, oh, this is good. Shirt. This is a wool plaid shirt. Okay, let's yeah. see. I'm not seeing any moth damage. <laughs> just right off the bat. Holding it up bag. to the light to see. I'm not seeing anything. That's really nice. Right. Made in the USA, size large. That's really good. So that's probably a fifty to seventy-five dollar shirt, is my guess. That's nice. Does it have all the buttons? Yeah. yeah yep. Cool. All right. cool. Yay! Right. That's one bag down. Now we're on yay, two. Yay, yay, yay! We got two small Falcon bags to go through to try to get through that. All right. Um, and this has got some new Drink tags. Drink my Old school, pre-shrunk. Mmm. Radley vintage PJs. Linens. Oh, pajamas. Yep, vintage PJs. Look at this, guys. I just, I love the colors of this. It's so nice. What's it? Radley, R-A-D-L-E-E, -E, flannel pajamas. Now, the package is open, so. Yeah, but they've never been worn. Uh, right, yeah, they've never been worn. Oh, there you go. There's a whole so, bunch of them myself for around $30. Oh, yep, yeah. nice. Easy peasy, cool. 30 bucks right there. Because we got this one too, Dream Street. That one's just so bright. This, yeah, the colors, just so vibrant. No yellowing, just really good condition. Flannel pajamas, size 38. I don't know what that means, maybe medium. Um, and it actually has a receipt in the back. That's funny. In the back of the package. Oh boy, it's like faded. Um, but it looks like they paid $7 for their these pajamas. Yeah, that'd be about the same, I think. 30 bucks? Okay, oh, this is definitely awesome. some linens. Oh, wow. Nightline matched bed set, 100% cotton flannel. Four piece, Tribert Sales Corporation. One full fitted Nightline. sheet, and full flat sheet, two standard pillowcases. I can't sleep in, in flannel sheets. Oh, I used to. I get too hot. I can't, I can't do it. I've tried. Well, I can't I'm do just it. naturally hot, so. Dude, you are a furnace when you sleep. You literally are a furnace. You I have not. get so hot. It's... All right. So I'm not. Okay. These are like tons Ooh. of Lady Pepperell. There's a queen and then a full fitted sheet. Queen flat, like, sheet, flat sheet. Full fitted sheet. Yeah. Goodness. Sold at Montgomery Wards. Oh my goodness. Did you guys shop at Montgomery Wards? My mom called it Monkey yeah. Wards. Well, that was at our mall growing up. We had a Montgomery Wards and we had a Caldor. Monkey Wards? And my mom would call it Monkey Wards. 
Um, yes, that's so... Memories, guys, memories. They okay. might, I don't know. These are just solid so. pink sheets. I mean, they're probably not worth a ton. Lady Pepperell, I mean, she's vintage, but she's not worth a huge amount of money, no. so. All um, day at home, tablecloth. Ooh. I think we already saw one of those. Yes, right, but right. I keep looking for one that's the size of our table. Although the one, we still have our Christmas one up there right now, so. Uh, oh. yeah. uh, these are penny spat JC penny specials, so no iron per cow, one flat sheet, full size yellow. So the problem is, I mean, JC pennies is fine; they'll still sell. But the problem is, they're a solid color. It would be better. I would be more excited if they were print like that. Same thing. That's actually really cool. Yeah. I like that one. One flat sheet, full size. This one has. It's almost like you know a. a fake uh, cross stitch pattern. That's cool. Um, I would guess, well, it's a flat sheet. I don't know. I would guess maybe in the $20 range for this one. Just guessing. Um, the, the solid colors are probably more in the $15. Uh, this might be something. It's a king, but it's a flat sheet. I don't like your computer. You Keyboard. Okay, but it's mine, so it doesn't matter if you like it or what, not. What am I doing? I don't know. Utica King Flat Sheet. <sighs> You're just dragging our whole show down. We just lost 10 viewers. I know, probably, uh, these people stink. This guy. This guy. This All right, does it have a... Oh. Oh, here you go. It's called Green Mansions White. <laughs> I don't know why. Green Mansions White. That's the name of the pattern. Sorry. I uh, it'll it'll probably definitely oh. sell. Oh. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they all sell. Probably about thirty oh, bucks yeah, for this one. All of them sell. Maybe more. Not. Well, you know, and if we can't find the exact one on here, we could look it up on Terra Peak. That might. This give one us is a light pumpkin idea. yellow. Light pumpkin yellow. Actually, this color palette is highly prized because this screams 70s. So people who are doing their whole house in that color, um, yeah, this is good. Oh, and this too. Oh, oh king size, Joseph, and it's a fitted sheet. But we don't have a king size bed. It's not for us, dodo head. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this one is called Summer Wind. Anyway, Ooh, this is look cool. at these. This these are so cool. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say this might be $40. And this probably, what size is this? Flat, uh, full sheet. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. this is a full size flat sheet. I would guess this is probably in the $20 to $25 range. All right. Just guessing. It spitballing up here. this one. I like this one. I'm going to show you this one. And these are probably standard pillow. Oh, these are pennies as well. Summer yeah. winds. Oh, that is nice. Oh, and the, oh my stars. Look at that head in the back. Oh man. Guys, is this not like, can you not remember going to your grandma's or your mom's house or whatever? And just like, obviously not this exact pattern, or maybe you saw this exact pattern, but like just this is throwing me back, way, way back. Right, here's a full size set, Zurich collection. Flannel? Flannel. Oh, nice. Yeah. McCarthy Pretty International, nice. made in Hong Kong. Pretty okay, nice. so these two, let's see, what are these pillowcases from? Um, okay. Hold up. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is, oh, J.C. Penney's, okay. So that's probably, I mean, you know, five bucks. Alright. Uh, where's the, oh. That's the pillowcase, or? Yeah, the pillowcase. And uh, then this big one pillow. is a standard pillowcase, J.C. Penney's. JC Penney. Yeah, so, you know, five dollars, seven dollars, we'll look it up. Um, okay, so Zurich, what size is this? Four. But it's all Full. It's like it, I think it's a pillowcase. Okay, yeah, flat fitted and two pillowcases. Okay, so that might be the the whole set. That might 
be between 25 and 30, I'm gonna guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So that's not bad. And it's a nice pattern. All right, so, one more bag. That's that, cool. that was a Hulk bag. One more bag to go through. And we gotta be. The camera's already acted up, so. Uh oh. Uh, so this is. Like I said, the camera's acting up. <laughs> uh, we okay. Figure it's overheating and like the battery and it just shuts off, so. Uh, so if you want to help us get a new camera, subscribe. All right. <laughs> Okay, Ainsley Fine English Bone China. And the pattern on this is Pembroke. It's a butter dish and knife. There's a knife in here? Oh, there is. Ha! I didn't even see the knife. Okay. Uh, butter dish. And knife. Yeah. Close to the butter dish. Oh, so it's not worth a ton, but that's so pretty. Look at the. I got the little birdie in there and the flowers, and then it has a matching knife. That is really nice. Oh, is this it right here? Pretty close. Pretty, Pretty close. close, yeah. Yeah, $14. Yeah, uh, that was $14. Okay. Hey, we didn't pay anything for it, so. Thank you, benevolent person. <laughs> benevolent. Yeah. All right, so that is definitely a list. That's really beautiful. I wish I you know, cared to do a set a beautiful table, but it's just a lot of time and space and we have other priorities right now, but okay. These are fun. Okay. This is spring made striped blue pillowcases, a set of two, it looks like. And then, um, JC pennies, uh, are those roses? but it's got like the little scalloped edges. How adorable. This is a poly cotton blend. That's really cute. I really like those. Those are pretty. What do you got? You got stuck. Oh, I feel like something oh, in here broke. Something is leaking. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Uh, all right, so this is, uh, I think it's this. Oh, open yeah, and... it's gross. All right, we're going to have to go through this. This is a box for... Ew, yucky. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. Whipped argan oil. Well, Aww. this is definitely something worth going through. Oh, no. If we can find anything in here that survived. Goobered in there. We'll have to rinse it all off. Yeah, we're going to have to figure it out. But it's jo you know how when Josie... You go on vacation. Moran? Yeah, Moran? Josie Moran. You go on vacation and your toiletry bag, something explodes in it. Yeah, that's what happened in this box. That's disgusting. So we'll have to clean that up. But uh, yeah, that is a good brand of cosmetics and beauty products. So I don't know what this is. Well, look on the front. Michael Marin Mojave Magic box of beauty secrets okay there we go um let's see what we got in here the simple solution to cosmetics the only thing is how old is this oh it's from qvc okay oh but the so I don't think she ever used it. So it's a totally neutral shadow trio, everywhere trio, luminizing moisture, totally neutral retractable lip liner. Uh, yeah, Mojave Magic. Maxim, Maxim Eyes Mascara Sculpting Stick, totally neutral lipstick duo. I think that's going to be worth some money. Might be, but why does that look used? Oh, I don't think it was used. Just something, some type of powder got loose in here. So one of these, not the same color, yeah. but is listed for $29.99. Oh, wow. Um, but you have, oh, here you go. Here's the Magic Makeup Kit Box of Beauty Secrets, which is what this is. Yeah. It's listed for $45. Um, don't know if it'll sell for that much, but there is some stuff that they have... Well, that does sell, so. and yeah, I would, I would list this on Mercari because I'm pretty sure it's 
not been used, but it's open and I don't want eBay to get mad at me because you can't really sell used uh, cosmetics on Is, eBay. So uh, I feel like I got yuckies all over me. Partial after that. Um, that is actually something, I think. Is it? Jean, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Also part of my childhood. Every girl that lived in the 80s had some form of after, Jean Nate or Jean Nate. That's not splash. It's after bath lotion. Lotion. All right. Well, I mean, it's partial, so you won't go. Well, I would just put it on uh, Mercari. This is a ginormous. This is 32 fluid ounces. This is a quart. Who needs? Uh, so one of those whole is was 43.55. So, oh wow! So, so you might get 20 bucks for it or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Made in the USA. Because people will buy partially used things for some reason. Yep, yeah, because they like the formula. Obviously, it changed. Uh oh, something goobered in here. Well, that might be from the other stuff. Uh, uh oh. I don't know if that's what this is or not. Tova. I feel like Tova Beverly Hills is probably something good, dear. Huh? Oh, that matches the other thing. Mm-hmm. Can you look up Tova Beverly Hills Elixir mm -hmm. Collection? We have three of the bottles in here. That is not good. Okay. Does it smell like an old woman? Is, that's like three different things in it? Well, it's supposed to be four, actually. Let me see. Signature Nights, Body, Mind, and Spirit, Love Everlasting. Or maybe only three. Uh, no, it is. Supposed to be four. One ounce bottles. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll get maybe... 30 bucks for it or something 30 like bucks. that. Yeah, I mean, the ones that are in here have not been opened, so. That's not bad. I feel like I'm gonna smell like this tonight. Ugh. I hope not. That's disgusting. Okay, so this is uh, the Ainsley Fine Bone China, just a ring uh, little trinket thingy. Um, this is in a store. Fine English Bone China. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought Bone China was when you could hold it up to light and you could see through it. But I can't see through it. So, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, this was from uh, AFIS. This was oh. purchased in a um, military. Commissary? Pendleton Signature Classics. Suggested retail was 70 on that. Oh, wow. And then another, oh, it's just a, another sweater here. New a tag, so it's size medium. Oh, wow. Wow, that is small. That's nice. I have no idea. I've never priced anything like this, but I'm going to guess $20. Pendleton Petite. And you don't want to put it back in Ooh, the storage bag. Oh, this feels <laughs> different. They got storage bags for their stuff. This lady this feels was softer. serious. This is a small. That's very small. I feel like she was very serious about her stuff. Wow. Yeah, I don't even think that would fit. Well, that's Lillian. the thing is, like, she did take care of it. A lot of the stuff was wrapped in plastic. So, um, like, it didn't get... I've only seen one moth hole. But... She just had so much stuff, and it was probably like a compulsion to buy. So she kept buying and buying and buying, even though she didn't need it, didn't have space for it, didn't even use it. <laughs> Indian so. Airlines. Travel the carefree way. Carry state bank traveler's checks. I remember those. Carry this fan with you, if you like. You know, when we first moved overseas, um, traveler's checks were a thing. Yeah. Those remember, are cool. I remember going on vacation when I was a kid and my stepdad would have traveler's checks. These are cool, but I mean, there's no... There's no branding on or anything. Yeah, nothing. But, I mean, this is... I could... Yeah, I could still sell them. This one, for sure, is much more professionally made. This one almost looks like a project on a cruise ship or something. Okay. It's not professionally made, but... This is cool. People would hang those on their walls. Apparently, she's a hat lady. Oh, but it's all 
Like it's got little brown spots all over it. I don't think that's worth anything. Oh, all of them do. All natural fiber made in China. Oh yeah, it's. Mm. I mean, I'll just put that in the donate bag. I don't, I don't think these or well, that one doesn't have branding. Well, this doesn't have a tag on it inside at all. So okay. Oh, this was good wheel. Actually, we don't typically donate to good people's wheels. People's so. Republic of China. Oh. Oh, it's got a vintage. That tag is definitely vintage, but that's kind of a cool hat. That's the same China. This one? Yeah. Huh. Flops. I mean, these are nice. Nice floppy hat. How's it looked here? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's the same. <sighs> There's no branding on that one. Pink. Uh, this is like what girls used to wear for Easter when I was growing up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's see uh, if our daughters wanted to wear for Easter. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, this one too. Here's a made in Taiwan. <sighs> Guys, this all brings me back. Mm, no, not no, your color. Not my color. Yeah. There you go. Made in Taiwan. All right. So, I mean, they're cool, but they're not special enough and they take up way too much space. I only keep hats if they or I only sell hats if they're worth a considerable yeah, amount they because be cash. yeah because they just they just take up too much space what's that mellow tone oh it's a tablecloth yeah I feel like it was a gift because there was obviously like a price tag right here and, and they, somebody they just cut, cut it out, out. <laughs> okay so Kemp and Beatley brings soft and mellow tones of full-bodied color on a white tablecloth in their newest tablecloth creation, Permanent Press Soil Release. Poly cotton blend serves eight, 63 by 86. It's just a white tablecloth with a lace trim edge. That's nice. I'm sure it'll sell. That one I might just put on Facebook Marketplace. I think this is a donate. You think it's a donate? Yeah. All right. I'll make that determination. Blue leather bag with a kiss lock. Well, actually, I don't know if that's technically a kiss lock. I'm not seeing any branding, but it's a vintage, like a medicine bag, which is kind of cool. Oh, wait. Latisse. There's the brand. Why don't you look that up? Oh, you're looking up a. What? What is it? Latisse. L E T I S S E. Purser. <laughs> and is this a. I have a purser. <laughs> is blue leather? It looks blue, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just donut. That's a donut. You think it's a donut? Yeah. It's not in the it's best. It's not in the best. Either. Yeah, I mean, it's got like paint on it. It's a cool design. It's just, but. It's just not the best. It's, yeah, we it's not the best. best. We only want the best. Mm. All right. And what is this guy? This is the Cherish Collection. Nova Plush. What? Never heard of such a thing. I'm trying to open the tag here. Uh, this huggable toy was handcrafted to be your lovable friend. In Aww. China. Aww. Aww. Oh, from 2009. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a donate. You know what? If it were a little bit smaller, I could put it in the shoe boxes, but it would really take up a lot of space. I do, um, shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child. And, uh, you fill a shoe box with stuff for a child overseas, but this would take up too much space and it's not special enough. We only do special. This it's gotta be special. This lady cracks <gasps> me up. Because, Don't like, spill my tea. stuff is in... Don't spill the tea, Joseph. All of her stuff in bags. And there's Pendleton, brand new Pendleton hats. These are cool. Are you for real? Oh, this is snagged. I'll have to pull that thread back in, but... <gasps> that is adorable. What are these called? What's that called? H hats? <laughs> Uh, I was, you, this was bought on Quantico, Quantico. You are obviously not a reseller. Your title would be hat. 
Pendleton hat. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, that's not a beanie, is it? What is it? Alright. All right. Okay, we figured it out. It's a beret. It's a beret. a beret! Yes! And it's got the little thingamajigger. This is probably... I'm tired. I, okay. <laughs> We're almost done, okay? Yeah, we need to hurry because this camera is like... Yeah. Um, I have no idea what this would be, but probably $30? Each? Oh, Just to guess. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. $20. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> would you like some shorts? Yeah. Those are short shorts. They are even really if, short. Even if you were a short woman, that is some short I, shorts. I don't think they're women's shorts. No. Yes. Oh. It's Catalina, the Arthur Ashe collection. Catalina. They're not women's shorts. Is it two S's or just one? What? Ash? Yeah, I don't remember how to spell that. A-S-H-E. You are absolutely right. They're they're dude shorts. $35, guys. That is amazing. And hilarious. So funny. Okay. Um, and I like, would not be wearing those. This part right here, it's like a towel. Like it's the, what is that, terry cloth? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. So you can dry your We'll hands. have to wash them though because there is a little bit of like wow. discoloring on them. You would not catch me wearing so. those bad boys. <laughs> Short shorts, as the girls would call them, booty shorts. Yeah. Those are some booty shorts. Are these more Pendleton hats? I don't think so. That's not a penalty. That one's got Ew. issues and it's gross. I don't know. No, these Ew. are just regular. Oh, no, here's one. Yeah, I don't know that this... She may have made this one. I think she made this one, but sadly I'm going to... Th All right, I did it again. Silly camera. Um, okay, so we're going to hurry up. Uh, this is another Pendleton hat. It's a wool um, hat. It's a beanie. <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's it's cool. not new with tags, um, but it's probably a $15 hat would be my guess. So uh, I need to get those photographed. New in package, uh, Bobby Socks. Bo they, literally, they literally say Bobby Socks. Those oh are, my goodness. Those are old school. This is, oh, 2001. What? I would have thought like I thought, I would have 90s. thought those were yeah, older than Oh that. no, they're not new. Um, she cut it and took one pair out. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. well, here's some uh, stacks. Haynes Herway Cushion Crew. Oh, these are amazing. Let's see, what's the date on these ones? Um, uh, they don't say the date. But these are... <laughs> no, but the... Oh, 1995. Oh, For exactly. that one, so it might oh. be on the back there. Did it just do it again? No, it's still more. Oh. Um, 1995 full Christian crew socks. So those are prob that's probably a twenty twenty five dollar package of socks. There you go. I would guess. Some nice oh, jammies. some more jammies. Look at the colors, guys. Oh, and the elastic is still good. Yeah, these are nice little jammies. Those are so pretty. I mean, I yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. They're so cute. At Avantique. I love the colors. These are not 1990s. No, these are 60s maybe. How fantastic are those? Oh my goodness. Warm and cozy flannelette pajamas, 100% cotton. Oh my lanta. Those are adorable. Okay, guys, if yeah, you guys crazy. know the costume designers for, like, a show that wears clothes from these eras, give them our number. Tell them to subscribe to our channel and watch all of uh, these episodes and let us know what yeah, they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how cool. Pre-shrunk pajamas, Dream Street. These are adorable. I love them so much. Should I keep a pair? That is up to you. 
I do not care. No, I'm not really into flannel pajamas. Our whole pile is gonna fall down. Mm -hmm. It's sliding. Anyway, right. guys, thank you so much for watching. This is so fun and we have a whole lot, a lot. more in a the lot. garage still to do. Um, yeah. So we're gonna rope our girls into it mm -hmm. um, because what they're gonna do is they are going to choose one bag and each and then they get to photograph and list and sell what's in that bag and they get to keep the money. So um, anyway, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, seriously though, so that our episodes show up in your feed and then you can see um, as we go through the rest of the bags and find out what we got. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.